the NBA's dumbest I'm wannabe gangster. Yo, if y'all was in the NBA, you want to want to be a gangster? You wouldn't want to be a gangster? You wouldn't want to be a gangster? Fuck the NBA. I would turn into a hood. Out of the five major American sports, basketball is the hardest sport to make it to the pros. Cap. Soccer even harder. Soccer even harder. One in Mod scammed there was only three gays. How many did they do? Wait, what side did they pay out? Yo, let me turn the lights off. I'm not gonna lie, this is a lights off type bitch. Y'all going DC? I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Oh, Drake with mad medicine behind me. Oh, this is very scary. What if he just comes and takes my butt? Aubrey, please don't do it. 12,363 <laughs> That's what I'm saying, yo. Patrick crazy for saying gangster. There's or point zero zero. Y'all think y'all can make the NBA if you really try? To, professional team. to put that in perspective, if every dot on a basketball represents one potential pro signee, three dots out of the 35,000 will make it. Yo. The NBA also happens to pay their players the best, with the average salary per player being roughly $10 million per year. And he's spending that all on weed lean perks and strip clubs you fucking thug oh my god john moran is such a thug holy shit here which would place you in the top 0.1 percent of earners in the united states so someone like john moran securing the extraordinary job as a professional basketball player means he has basically won the lottery Damn, of life. That's his house? he worked extremely hard and is being rewarded at the highest level for his efforts and instead of building his legacy and setting up potential generational wealth for him and his family, he's deciding to take on the role as a gangster rapper. Assault. <laughs> Ew, no, why was that so funny to me? I don't know why that was so funny. Yo. Assaulting people, flexing weapons on Instagram. <laughs> And trying to prove Yo, to the didn't he like beat up a 16 year old or something or am i tweaking i swear john moran like fucked up a kid or something like that world that he really is about that the life. dude who made this video a little racist not nah, chill on patrick he's not racist only person who made the nba to go back to the hood ja grew up in south carolina in a small quiet country town called dalzell dalzell is a few miles outside of sumter which is ranked as the 46th most dangerous city in south carolina Damn, see, he was from the trenches. 46? That's still dangerous. He is from the trenches. He went to Crestwood High School, where student academic performance is just about average with the entire state. It's pretty safe to say that Ja grew up in a very average American suburb, Damn. surrounded by slightly above average crime rate, and went to an average school. Damn. We have no reason to believe that he is a gangster or is gang affiliated in any way. He has no criminal record, no history of violence, and really ah. only a few minor <clears throat> arguments on the court, which is extremely <clears throat> normal. Ja has two Bro. loving parents who have always supported- Yo, nah, the way he talking about this is so crazy yo he's talking so crazy his basketball dreams oh and my are very God. proud of him his mother yeah. describes him as a genuinely loving person <laughs> his father t used all of his free time to privately train ja and help yeah. him become the superstar he is Damn. today morant is only 23 he was drafted as the number two overall pick by the memphis wait Grizzlies. what year was john ja moran drafted i'm trying to think was it like 2019 2019 okay that's what i thought oh 2018 or 19 in 2019, he won Rookie oh, of the Year in his first season after averaging nearly Go. 18 points per game. And every year, his stats have just gotten better and better. This year, he's, he's been so on good, fire but he's an idiot. with a 27 point average while shooting 46. percent But at the same in the time, niggas watching his every season, move too much. Because James Harden be in a strip club every weekend, no one gives a fuck. Five year extension with the Memphis Grizzlies. This contract would earn him 25 percent of the salary cap yearly, which is estimated to be around 40 million dollars per year, putting him roughly in the top 10. 10 earners in the entire NBA. His performance in the first five That's seasons true, are Gavin. reminiscent of Derrick Rose, Russell Westbrook, and Allen Iverson. Damn. Ironically, AI and Ja have even more in common, indulging in a lifestyle that is synonymous with rappers, more specifically, gangster rappers. Yo, did you rappers. peep that though? Why does everyone want to be a rapper? Like, you know what I'm saying? Everyone be moving like they want to be a fucking rapper. It's weird. Allen Iverson liked to party, go to clubs, drink, and gamble, which ultimately led to the downfall of his career. Even like streamers, like when they get big, be moving a little like rappers.
Ja Morant, as of recent, likes to show people how tough he is. On January 3rd, 2023, TMZ reported that Ja Morant was allegedly involved in the attack of a minor during a basketball game in Minor, hey, yo, nigga perked up a little bit. Calm down, Aubrey, fuck, nigga. He talking about a fight. Chill, twin. Lie at his Tennessee home. Chill. The two got into an argument, and the teenager said Ja approached him, put his chin on his shoulder, and asked a bystander, should I do it to him? Then struck him with a closed fist okay am i stupid or this message makes no sense the dude yusuf banned me i know you won't because you care about me what uh nigga said the dude who made this is dumb as fuck he said jaw won rookie of the year in his first season like no shit that's what a rookie is what What does that mean? Nigga, he still won the award. What are you talking about? He still won the award. Are you a bot? What are you talking about? Knocking him to the ground. From there, Ja continued sticking him oh, while on the ground. Oh, because he's saying he won rookie in his first season. Because rookie and first season, the same thing. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, you're right. 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 And another you're man right, jumped right, in right. and began hitting the boy as well. Officers John Moran jumped in a 17 year old crazy. He had yo. a large knot on his head. Ja says he did strike the boy, but he was acting in self defense nah, after the boy crazy. threw a basketball at him. Morant told officers. So if a dude throw a basketball at me, I could beat the shit out of him? Is that allowed now? I could do that? That's the word? A nigga throw a basketball at me, I could beat the fuck out the nigga? Really? On God? The teenager made verbal threats stating he'd light his house up as he was being escorted off the property. Yo! There are also separate reports that say that Ja hit the boy 12 to 13 times and even went into his house, grabbed a gun, and put it in his waistband. Yo, this nigga crazy. He's flashing a gun at a fucking minor. At a minor? At a minor? No. <laughs> he crazy. Taunting the boy. Now, NBA news outlets were harping on the fact that the kid was 17, but to give Shannon God the benefit Sharp, of the doubt, a 17-year-old these days most definitely could light your house up. The four people involved in Pop Smoke's murder were 19, 18, 17, and 15. <laughs> okay, nigga. <laughs> wait, what the fuck? What's the correlation, nigga? Wait, what? What happened? When we start talking about Pop Smoke. It's easy to see 17 and think of an innocent boy, but that may not be the case. Hell the teenager no. did press charges, smoke, and the boy's mother demanded $20 million from Morant, but Yo. the charges were dropped due to insignificant evidence, and it was looking more like a false allegation for someone to make a quick payday off an NBA player. Damn. But four days before this fight, Ja had another police report filed by a security guard at a finish line in the Memphis Mall. The altercation Nick. started after Morant's mother had a dispute with an employee, Nick. which led her to call her son josh showed up with nine men a verbal confrontation trend there's no way this nigga pulled up to beef with a Foot Locker employee with nine niggas he pulled up with nine niggas to beef with a Foot Locker employee do you know how crazy that is what the fuck nigga rolled up 10 deep to beef a fucking Foot Locker employee transpired the and then fuck? a member of morant's group pushed the security guard nigga. in the head morant then said let me find out what time he gets off, which made the guard want to file a report as he felt threatened by Moran. <laughs> oh, no, nah, this nigga's insane. Yo, this nigga's actually crazy. What's wrong with him? Bruh, what is wrong with him? Yo, my audio fucked up. Oh, shit. How gangsta he was when Shan- Okay, Patrick, really? Nigga just dropped the ER, said it with an A? Come on, bro. By Morant's statement. Now, Ja had the opportunity to show the world how gangsta he was. Gangsta. Oh, my God. Patrick, bro. I can't keep defending you, bro. I actually can't keep defending you. This nigga just said gangsta. Was oh when Shannon God. Sharp pressed the Grizzlies on the sidelines yeah. of their match against the Lakers. Look at Shannon, Shannon Sharp, yelled man. at Dylan Brooks Yo. saying he can't guard LeBron. To which Dylan responded, fuck you. Shannon retaliated Yo, and stood on Dylan the side. Yo, Dylan Brooks a dickhead too, right? I feel like Dylan Brooks a bitch too. Line begging for them to get in his face. Ja's father T even got up and barked at him a little bit, but nobody wanted to get up and close to Shannon. Ja yelled from across the court. Wasn't he Grizzlies. beefing? I swear he, he's beefing with Draymond Green, right? I swear I seen that. Him and Draymond are beefing. 
and as soon as people tried to usher Shannon away, that's when the Grizzlies decided to try and press him. Shannon later said, they don't want this smoke. They don't want problems, but I wanted everything they had. Fast forward one week later, and Ja got into an altercation with Chris Duarte of the Indiana Pacers. Chris pushed him three times while Ja repeated, don't touch me. But Ja had some plans for retaliation after the game. Acquaintance... Red laser trained on the Pacer team members? This nigga got snipers now? What the fuck? Fuck you mean red laser? This is of Grizzly... St nigga got a... What the fuck? Star John ja Morant aggressively confronted members of the Pacers nigga, traveling nah, he's party actually near crazy. the team's bus in the loading area he's of FedEx crazy. Forum Arena. It's never that and serious. later, someone in a slow-moving SUV, which Morant was riding he's in, trained a red laser on it's them. Never that we serious. don't know if Ja was the one who pointed the laser, and we also don't know if that laser was attached to a gun. But was Ja trying to do the first post-NBA game drive-by? I guess... <laughs> okay, Patrick, yo. Yo, this nigga's not serious, bro. Oh my god. Yo, this nigga's trolling. Yo, come on, bro. Come on. Nigga, the way he said that was too funny. Attached to a gun. Yo. But was Ja trying to do the first <laughs> post-NBA game drive-by? I guess by comparison, it's not as bad as Gilbert Arenas. Yo. The Wizards player in nah, 2009 bro. brought a gun into the locker room and threatened to shoot one of his teammates over... What the fuck? ...a card game. But let's what not forget that fuck? last year at 2 in the morning, Ja said to a Twitter op that it's free to see how hollows feel. <laughs> Yo, I actually can't breathe, bro. Yo, telling a nigga on Twitter it's free to see how hollows feel is so insane. Andy called this nigga a Twitter op. Yo, I'm dead. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Referring to hollow tip bullets. Holy and if shit. that evidence wasn't enough, just last week, Ja went on Instagram Live while he was at the strip club and flashed a gun. That tiny ass gun. Why is that gun so small? Did, like, did y'all realize that too? Nigga got the tiniest gun I've seen in my life. ...to the camera. This action prompted a two-game suspension, as well as Ja deactivating all of his social media pages. <laughs> Obviously, 99% of people denounced this behavior, Yo, but some people like Gilbert crazy. Arenas and Paul Pierce defended Ja. Basically... I don't care what y'all say about Ja. I carried a gun after I was stabbed. Y'all don't know what he going through. Everyone got something to say until you really know what's really going on in someone's life. When you black and rich, you a target, period. Yo, Paul Pierce, you trying to see how these hollows feel, nigga? Come on, Paul Pierce. You trying to see how these hollows feel? My bad. Is Please he saying, spitting? Man. No, nigga. No one said John Morant can't have a gun. That's not the whole point of the situation. They're just saying the nigga don't need to be, like... You can have a gun. I bet every NBA player has a gun. They not in the strip club fucking flashing it on Instagram Live, though. You know what I'm saying? understand why he carries a gun. Ja has everything going right for him. He's living a life that's near impossible to achieve. So why does he want to run around and act gangsta now? Bro, you not hard. That's not your life. This nigga just... Oh, my God. Something about Skip Bayless just irked me. I don't know what it is. Something about Skip Bayless just irked me, bro. Oh, my God. People that in that life would give anything to be in your life. Damn, I swear sports and music are so synonymous because we want to be them and they want to be us. Mm -hmm. Those lyrics come from Thank Me Now, the final track on Drake's 2010. Props, twin. debut album thank me later rappers love the esteem the money and the safety that basketball players have but basketball players love the lifestyle that rappers have we know that if i was speed would he have fist bumped me he wants to get on facetime with him right if i was speed would he have fist bumped me back or not <sighs> you think you think he was gonna fist bump me if i was speed it's not fair man what did he do what year did that album come out? Answer quick. What album? What are you talking about? That Ja loves NBA Young. Nah, I got eight more he minutes. He's constantly going on IG Live. Rap. Of course he loves NBA Young Boy. Yo, I need to get my cousin off that NBA Young Boy pipeline. That nigga's a good kid. I don't want him to ruin his life like Ja Morant. Come on. We know that. Nairo, thank you for the dollar, man. I appreciate that. I maybe if you give Drake some booty, he will speak. 
nigga. The day that I fucking back it up on this nigga on stream is the day that I end my life in GTA. Ja loves NBA Youngboy. He is constantly going on IG Live rapping along to his lyrics. Youngboy has a way of making his nefarious lifestyle sound fun and exciting, even Damn. though it's extremely stressful and he likely- Yo, like, do y'all think, like, I know he has herpes, but do y'all think there's no way Youngboy got pimple dick? Like, there's actually no way. Like, there's no way he actually has pimple dick. Like, I refuse to believe that. Like, there's genuinely no way. It's a parade inside my city. He has a target on his back 24 seven. Like we said before, Ja is from a small suburb in the middle of South Carolina, and we have reason to believe he's had a pretty solid and stable upbringing. He moved to Memphis, which is known for being a dangerous city, okay, home to a lot of famous rappers. What the fuck being in Memphis got to do with, okay, now he trolling. Now Patrick trolling. What the fuck being in Memphis got to do with being a rapper? He became the face of the Grizzlies franchise, so everyone in the city loves him. When he goes to the club, where real Memphis gangsters probably hang out, they likely show him love. Even rival gangsters in Memphis could probably bond over the Grizzlies being their favorite Yo, can team. can I say this word or not? Nah? Because it's technically not the word. Can I say that? Or no? Can I say that? Or no? No? Nigga, it's technically not the same word, though. Because when I was doing the bro one, I was saying Brody. And that contains bro in it. You feel me? I was saying Brody. He's getting a taste of their lifestyle, the lifestyle that his favorite rappers glamorize. Damn. They are bringing him places he never would have been able to go, Damn. and he probably isn't too worried about his safety because- Y'all fuck with the, the colored dreads or no? Nah? I don't know if I like that for real. I don't know if I really like it, I'm gonna be honest. He doesn't have enemies. He wants the power and the respect that comes with having street cred, but he doesn't have to risk his life for it, and he has a guaranteed $10 million yearly salary. Damn, ja 10 mil crazy. everything they don't, and he wants the one thing they have, but the one thing that they have yeah, requires Jerry. them to be alert and prepared to risk their is life at any given moment. That's old Some young people boy. say 23 years old is enough to know better, but there's no doubt that a small reason why he's acting out is due to his age. 23 wow. with enough money to do whatever he wants is dangerous. Nigga, if I was 23 and I was making $10 million, I'm not gonna lie, I would just be doing whatever. I would be fucking everything. Like, I would just be doing everything. I would like, like, I would just be going crazy. I don't know, bro. I would just be going crazy. I don't know, man. I don't know. Especially when his father is also indulging in his son's success. The NBA definitely wants to see Ja succeed, but if he continues down this path, Yo, like, why is niggas in this fucking stream so weird like fuck you mean even nine-year-olds um no no like what Bruh. ostracized by the media and eventually it will be too risky for any team to bring him on his career will be cut short similar to other players who have tried these antics oh, in nah, the, past. He's hating, though. And the funny part about that is his new friends that are bringing him into this lifestyle won't be there for him when he isn't a star basketball player anymore Yo, wait, y'all think, uh, y'all think John Moran really gonna get into trouble with the NBA? I don't think so. He gonna be cool and he gonna be fine. More. He gonna be fine. I don't think nothing bad actually gonna happen. 